Good morning. We are getting ready to kick off a pretty big project that I am, I for one, am, am been looking forward to for quite a while. Uh, we are building our solar panel rack today. I'm going to attempt to build a, a, a rack that we can adjust our panels or based on the time of year. This is going to be an interesting build. Uh, one thing I didn't want to do is build the panels so close to the ground. Uh, we do get a lot of snow here in Maine. So I wanted to make sure that the panels were high enough off the ground uh, so that I didn't have to worry about snow building up on them. So after some very careful planning, here's where we've decided to put our solar rack. We're just gonna go right there. Now, again, going back to how we are, you know, our direction, um, unfortunately, it's gonna have to be at this angle, uh, which is gonna leave a lot of dead space back here, but you know what, we'll figure it out. I'm going to start digging four holes uh, for the four pulse, four posts. We'll have a seven footer here, nine footer in these two, and then another seven footer over there. So on a nice day to like today, Jen's over there getting our grass cut because Lord knows we need it. All right, so we've gotten our uh, our holes dug. Now we're only going two feet. Some of you are gonna say, hey, you need to go three feet. But you can't go three feet here. Uh, number one, I don't have the means to do it. Uh, this soil is, this is, the soil that we have here isn't soil, it's actually gravel that the previous owners had brought in. So <clears throat> we get massive rocks in here and let me show you what I'm talking about. That's one of the rocks I pulled out of here. That said, without having an auger that'll go down that far, I just can't dig down three feet. It's just, I hit, I hit these rocks and these big boulders and I just can't move them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down tw uh, 24 inches and then uh, we're going to get the post set in cement. Well, we got the uh, posts all cemented in and uh, I'll kind of walk you through what we did here. So basically we took a line, ran a line from the first post to the last. Then we cemented the first post, cemented the last post, and then cemented the other two. I did do, uh, I did check with my compass, and uh, we are facing 180 degrees due south. We are facing 90 degrees due east and due west. The one thing I am a little unsure of, I wish I could have thrown in some more cement. Uh, I've got a couple of these two larger posts here. There's still about 12 to 18 inches of hole left. Um, each hole has a hundred pounds of cement. Oh, hello, Whitco. What did you bring me? Oh, Whitco, did you bring daddy his string? Come here, leave it. Whitco, leave it. Leave it. Whitco, leave it. Give me my string. So the next step now is to let this dry. And then tomorrow we will be building the rack and hopefully, fingers crossed, mounting the solar panels. Here we are, Saturday morning, 6 a.m. again. Another week has gone by, another date with my nemesis.
Good morning. So we are back at the solar panel build. Uh, the posts are nice and sturdy. Uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna put up our two by sixes. So let's get to it. have our lag bolts in now um, basically they're gonna come over here we're just gonna tighten them up on this size uh, but to add some extra strength to the boards we're gonna put those guys in so we're back at the uh, solar rack today and we are first thing we're gonna do is add some more cement to the posts We just added 60 pounds to each one of these three. Um, this first one here only has 100 pounds in it. Uh, then these three have 160 pounds. And the reason we did that is uh, when I dug this hole, uh, it was only about 26 inches down. Um, but when I dug the other three holes, uh, they're about 30 to 32 inches but because I had to keep these things in a straight line and you can see that from this way angle right I had to dig out more space in the front of each post uh, to make sure that I had that straight line that's why if you look at this the back of the post which is on this side uh, looks like it has a heck of a lot more cement than on the front um, and again that is simply because I had to dig uh, further in the front of these uh, all three of these posts have the same thing um, But I also dug even though it doesn't look uh, Symmetrical from the top. I did dig into the dirt uh, Underneath the the soil there. So it is a nice big ball uh, of, of cement Okay, so the next step uh, is to work on our work on our brackets uh, What we're doing is we are taking some five inch and six inch heavy duty hinges and bending them. So we've basically, we've basically uh, just attached it to a two by six. And then with a hammer, just bending them backwards. So what we're left with is a bracket that will, or a hinge that will be able to lay over the two by six support. And then we'll attach the rails to this well hanging them on the two by six and trying to bend these hinges in place didn't work as planned so we're going to move on to plan b which should have been plan a uh here's what we're doing we're using a vise and that provides a nice perfect Fit. So once we bent all of our hinges, the next step is to attach them to six foot two by fours, which we've done here. Uh, basically, just put a couple of um, uh, uh, big screws in here. We're going to put some more screws in here as well, but for right now, I don't have any, so we're just going to use what we got. Uh, we will later put some in there. Um, okay, so now that we have all of our two by fours with our hinges, uh, we are actually working on figuring out how to mount these. So uh, we've got the the XR100 rail system that came with the solar uh, system that I got from Alti. 
uh, and we are mounting that to those two by fours, which in turn will be mounted to the two by six uh, so that these can be adjusted. What do you think of this project, Jen? Having a ball, having a ball, freezing my butt off. It's cold. So we are going to uh, keep mocking these up and uh, see if we can't get this uh, one pair of panels up. Okay, so it is late in the day, but we finally figured out how to finish mounting these. Uh, I'll tell you, this has not been an easy uh, problem to solve, but uh, I think we finally got it. So, so originally, the original plan was to have four of these, but uh, we took a look at how this mounts up with the panels and found that three of them uh, worked much better. So we did some measurements, uh, leveled each of these rails out after they went up and uh, they are level. And this rack here is ready for panels. Back at the uh, solar rack and we had to make another change. Uh, realized we didn't have enough brackets uh, for the rail that the system came with so we're gonna have to be a little bit more sparing and um, change up one of the, the bracket sets on the third set of uh, a third pair of uh, panels so we've ended up now with three uh, three of the hinges two by fours uh, working on the second one now and then on this third one, we'll have to figure out how to mount the panels since we don't have enough the correct brackets and the rail is not long enough. So uh, another challenge to uh, figure out. All right, so we have figured out, uh, as far as the finished up the two panels here, we've got the back bracers here, which is will provide the stops uh, for the adjustment. And right now what I'm working on is to add these little L brackets, which are gonna be used to up against the this two by four, and that will provide the angle for the uh, panel, so. Well, after a bit of finagling and massaging everything, we got the first two panels up and I am so excited. Uh, I am working on cleaning the other two now and uh, it came out pretty good. We've just basically got a lag screw in the corner and we've got some brackets here so that we can have, you know, the different uh, uh, different settings. Uh, but I think overall it came out nice. Um, it is very easy to tilt. Uh, even though the panels weigh 55 pounds each. Uh, and then you've got some of the lumber there. Uh, it is actually relatively simple to adjust.
So I've applied Rain-X to my cars in the past. I've always used a nice clean rag to kind of buff out afterwards. But my wife told me I can use water and paper towels and it comes off even easier. So now that we have the second set of panels up, uh, we are going to add some bracing here. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a screw here to make sure this doesn't move anywhere. Now the reason we're putting these in is simply to hold this kind of a line in line here with that center piece of the uh, to support the racking. That's that. So the reason we went with this design is because, I mean, I, I had a different design for this, but as I started building this, I realized constrained with, I, I think, just my skill set. Um, I had originally wanted to groove these uh, so that this would fit onto this support. Uh, problem is, is when I started making measurements, I couldn't wrap my head around how to, to make that work. Um, because it wasn't as simple as just cutting the width of this because as you moved it down it would move and shift um, be that as it may uh, I did have these L brackets uh, there's only a hundred and fifteen hundred maybe well about 120 pounds maybe on this um, this seems to do a really good job of, of, of keeping it steady the real test is when we start getting some winds uh, but this is, since it's all made out of wood, if I have to make any adjustments or uh, add any more bracing or whatnot, I can certainly do that. Um, the other thing is, is I use lag screws uh, at the joints where this uh, adjustment is at, and I've been spinning on it. Um, the plan is that when these are in their permanent position for that time of year, I'll just screw, uh, put some screws in the 2x4, uh, to hold this 2x4 to the center frame. Um, that way, that, uh, that way it's, it's a little bit stronger. So, um, I didn't see a lot of videos online on how to make these. I saw one picture which gave me the idea, but it was a much smaller system with smaller panels. So I just kind of ran with it. I mean, the real test is gonna be in the high winds because we do get some pretty high winds here and we'll see how it goes. Um, it does adjust. Uh, it adjusts the way that it is now is for the summer uh, and it adjusts down for the winter. So, uh, you know, this, this rack accomplished everything that I set out for in this project. Uh, and uh, I could not be happier. Now we just gotta make sure it performs right. So this third rack is gonna be a little different than these. Uh, in this setup, I've run out of the uh, these brackets and the brackets that hold the panels in place, uh, the universal, you know, those. So what we're gonna use on this one is old school. We're gonna use L brackets 
and mount the frame of the solar panels right to two by fours. Okay, folks, so we are not officially done, but we are as far done with this project as we're willing to go at this point. There are a few more things we do need to do. Uh, we are going to stain the rack and we are going to add some more support here and there uh, uh, and then fill in all the post holes. But here it is in all its glory. This rack is officially semi-completed. <laughs> uh, like I said, there are a few more things we want to do, but we are very happy and pleased with the way that it's come out. This is the summer setup, and then uh, come winter time, we'll bring them down and they'll be facing more directly south, uh, more vertical as the sun gets further down the horizon. Well, again, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, we are doing our best trying to make uh, good content for you folks. Um, I am trying my best and I am getting better and I am I think I'm getting better uh, at doing this video stuff. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Uh, positive, negative, doesn't matter. Um, I love interacting with you folks and uh, I'm looking forward to getting your folks' uh, opinions on, on our rack here. So uh, thanks again for watching. God bless you. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please hit that like button and that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.